Hey, hi, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. I may look a mess and that is because, hold on. My hands be ashy and it's because I be washing my hands so much, okay? But anyways, this video is not gonna be long. I ain't gonna hold you because I just put my chicken nuggies in the oven so we can't be here all day, okay? I got a timer on my phone, but I had to. We have to follow up, sir. Last video, we were talking about the mess with TJ, the mess with TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. I'm so sorry, who are hosts of Good Morning America and their alleged affair. So there's been more. Now at the end of that video, I did say that sources have said that they um, both left their respective spouses in August. Um, and so this recent, all of these photographs at least came out in November. I don't know, maybe I missed it if they were actually taken in November, but I have seen online that people have alleged that TJ Holmes' current wife hired a private investigator and that is the person who took those photos. I'm like, eh, had to be a private investigator child. That was no random, that was no casual fan snapping them photos, uh-uh. That was a trained eye. That was a professional with a zoom this fucking long to snap those photos. So, that makes sense. But I do did pull up some articles with like timelines of these individuals in their previous relationships. And it's just very interesting. So I thought we could go over those and then some other things that have been alleged on Twitter. So this is TJ Holmes' second marriage. He's currently married to Mary Lee, but he was married to Amy Furson. Uh, they were divorced in 2007. Apparently she is maybe like a host of something, some show maybe on Fox News or like some Republican thing that's alleged. I kept trying to Google her and I wasn't seeing a lot of information um, about her. Uh, maybe she keeps to herself. That's great. Whatever. But so that was his first wife and they have two children. Then in 2010, he married his current wife, current wife, Mary Lee. So I'm just going to go through this little timeline here. And it also has some quotes from him. Now in the previous video, I read you an anniversary post that he put up for his wife, his current wife lots of red flags go back to that video if you missed it but anywho this is the articles from us magazine you know this isn't a new york time piece whatever but so he, tj holmes has two kids with his first wife brianna and son jaden <laughs> he looks like he would name his son jaden they got divorced in 2007 2010 he married his current wife mary lee and then they had their daughter a few years later so march 2014 this is what tj home has to say I, like many other men, thought that I wanted to reach a certain level of success before marriage, you know, make the right amount of money, get the right job, the right car, the right crib, etc., and perhaps sow the royal oats. Holmes wrote in an essay for The Root in honor of his four-year anniversary. Now I firmly believe the success we see can come a lot quicker with a partner helping along the way. Believe me, my ego is as big as anyone's. Believable. But recognize my own deficiencies, admitting to myself that I need help and accepting that help have all been critical to our success. We're only on year number four, but I shudder to think of the kind of man I might be if I wasn't married these past four years. I forgot to add these other quotes they had that he was saying about his wife in 2014 and their marriage. He said, not only is my marriage still intact, it's actually working pretty well and that made me uncomfortable. <laughs> you see, I didn't fully understand why my marriage was flourishing and I feared that if I didn't understand what we were doing right, how would we know what to keep doing? He explained that his eureka moment came that week when the lawyer helped him craft a business email. The lawyer, meaning his wife. I asked my wife to review it, and she thought the tone of the email was too aggressive, confrontational, and negative. She was right. Her input stopped me from making the mistake of hitting send, Holmes continued. That innocuous example is emblematic of our entire relationship. And all I do, I have a partner looking out for me, advising me, keeping me on track, and stopping me from making a mistake no matter how great or small. So he noted that he was still the same guy at his core. There were a lot of positive changes in his life as a d direct result of the marriage. He said, my family and I are closer. My individual net worth has gone up every year since we met. I've learned a second language. I'm healthier. I use the N word less. I listen to Sunday church service more. I'm a better friend. I'm more forgiving than I used to be. I'm more involved in charitable work, Holmes concluded. In every way, I'm better off because I'm married. So for me, a successful marriage has revolved around this principle. I like who I am with her. Hmm. Yeah. 
Then we have 2017 um, that he was gushing over his wife again as she was honored in Ebony magazine for her work as the general counsel for Wilhelmina International. He said, whoa, what a hottie. Beauty and brains and balling, page 90. Current issue of Ebony magazine, he wrote via social media alongside a picture of her. And then he said, I want a woman like that. Oh wait, proud mister. Cute, cute, whatever. So then they have the anniversary post that happened in 2020. Then fast forward to April 2022 and it has that he caused some fans to think he and his wife had hit a rough patch because he or she shared a cryptic quote from his dressing room that read, end the relationship and cry once. It's better than being with them and crying daily. And Holmes posted this message via Instagram adding quote of the week with a crying face emoji. And now we have November 20, 2022 when all of these photos are coming out with him and Amy Robach. So very interesting. But also on the Twitter sphere, hold on. I don't know why I'm doing that like I'm turning pages. It's literally a thing. So allegedly Pop Crave says that um, TJ Holmes reportedly had a three year affair with a married producer of the show prior to his current relationship with co-anchor co Amy Robach. Three years and so sources say Holmes confided in Robach about the infidelity at the time. Someone uh, responded and has, this is the lady, her name is Natasha Singh. She's a producer at Good Morning America. He had an affair with her back in 2016 for three years and begged his wife to stay afterwards. Oh, and Natasha is close friends with Amy. Amy celebrated her birthday with Natasha and there's four, there's photos of them together. This is saying Natasha divorced her husband, Garrett Brayron. He's a movie producer because of the affair. She shared a cryptic message. TJ and Amy were rumored to start messing around back in April, seen below. So you mean to tell me this man was married, was having a three year long relationship affair with this woman while married and that woman is friends with his now second that we know of allegedly affair what the and they work at they all work at the same place uh-uh q brandy and monica the boy is mine because what the hell is this humor me for a moment this is how i'm envisioning picturing that this went there is no way you could mistake him for your man. Are you insane? But see, I know that you may be just a bit jealous of me. But you're blind if you can see that his love is all in me. I think that you should realize and try to understand why he is a part of my life. I know it's killing you inside. When will you get the picture? You're the past and the future. Get away, it's my time to shine. If you didn't know, the boy is mine. A three year affair, that's a full on relationship. That's a full on relationship. And see, this makes more sense with what he said in his Facebook post, like, um, I've given you more than enough reason basically to, to kick my ass out, but you, you give me more chances. And this is obviously one of those chances. Three years with a producer. Wow, he just doesn't like to stray too far from his job. He's like, I mean, work wife is one thing, but he's taking it to a whole new level. You had a three year relationship who, another person who was married? What? I don't understand why it's so hard to talk to your spouse and say, hey, I'm not happy in this real relationship. And they're like, why? And you tell them why. And they're like, hey, can we work through it? Let's go to counseling. And maybe you you don't want to do that, whatever. And you say no. And y'all part ways, you get separated, you get divorced. And then you go out there and be a floozy. But no, you're gonna put on this air. I love my wife. She's amazing. She's a ride or die, strong black woman. And I'm gonna stand by her side as a strong black man. And our family is wonderful. And woo, protect the family. And here you are. You should have sold them oats before, TJ. Maybe you should have done that. Maybe you didn't need financial success before you got married, but maybe you needed to do that. Go around and plant a few seeds because this is disgusting. And like, I don't understand. I just don't understand why it's so hard to talk to the person you literally made vows to 
swap spit with and you can't talk to them about your feelings. It's not making sense. Wow, so this is obviously a pattern, allegedly. Three years with that woman, begs his wife to let him stay. She did, and then now another one. The disrespect, and his wife is an attorney, apparently for a rock nation. <laughs> you know what, I hope. <laughs> She takes all his money, oh, spending all her money on her and giving, wait. I hope she takes all, takes all of his money and he can't spend it on Amy. I'll work on it, I'll work on it. <sighs> Mess. Now there are also rumors that um, Amy, well Amy was married previously to Andrew Shu, who she's married to currently, I think that's his name. And she was married to, I think it was like a baseball player. And um, then they got divorced. But some people are alleging that she also cheated on maybe her first husband with this one. And then now she's still married to this one and cheating on him with another one. Now the interwebs is saying that she was with her first husband and they got divorced in 2008, but I don't know when. And it's saying that she met Andrew Shu in 2008 and then they were engaged the next year in 2009 in September. So I don't know if there was any overlap, but I have seen that alleged on the Twitter sphere. Again, alleged. If I can find that tweet, I will put it up here. But, oh, this person said, so TJ Holmes cheated on his wife with a married Good Morning American producer for three years and Amy Roblox cheated on her first husband with her second and then cheated on him with TJ making them both serial cheaters their soulmates. For real, for real. If all of that is true, ill. I would say y'all deserve each other but I don't know if y'all deserve anything. You crusty bums. I just, and apparently, oh, hold on, let me look this up. I'm going to the Goodreads because apparently Miss Amy got a book. Dina told me Miss Amy got a book. Oh, Amy Robach was diagnosed with breast cancer and thankfully she is, uh, she beat that or is in remission. I don't know the, the correct terms, but I think that was during her marriage with Andrew Shu, who obviously was by her side and was supporting her through that. And I'm very happy that she does not have that anymore. Well, wow. Now, I just want to say, just because someone is with you while you are fighting some kind of illness or really any hardship does not mean you owe them to stay in a marriage if you're not happy. It just was something that people brought up. And obviously these are alleged cheating scandals. So like, you know, but that's, you know, just wanted to make that clear that I'm not like, oh my God, this person stuck by your side while you were sick. That means you need to stay with them. Nah. Better together. Oh Lord. By Amy Robach and Andrew Shu. Oh God, what is Better Together about? From Good Morning American, Good Morning America anchor Amy Robach and her husband, actor Andrew Shue comes a sweet tale about finding common ground and accepting and appreciating each other's differences. Like coming together and finding common ground in each other's differences. Whatever, it's a children's book, but still, I don't know if this is common ground. I guess you and TJ Holmes have common ground, you alleged philanderers. I really love that word. You canoodling cooking cookie monster. Well, I don't know where I was going with that, but I just want to make this update. I think I have, oh, I got a few more minutes left before my timer goes off. Go off, queen. So that's it for me. Okay, I'm going to show you a TikTok that kind of re says, repeat some of the things I said, but also there's some extra details. Um, and I didn't see this till after. So just watch this and then we'll be done. The Good Morning America cheating scandal somehow got more salacious. Allegedly, TJ had a three year long affair with a producer prior to him cheating with Amy. Let's go over the story, shall we? Everybody grab snacks. So we have Natasha, the producer. She allegedly is having an affair with TJ. Apparently, Natasha and TJ felt close enough to Amy to confide in her about their affair. So side chick number one is confiding into Amy and Amy is sitting there probably thinking to herself, girl, don't even worry about it because I'm about to take your spot real quick. So then allegedly TJ's wife finds out about the Natasha affair through some emails. Also, while we're here, I just want to point out that Natasha and the wife look kind of similar to each other. So that's weird. But anyway, Mara Lee starts looking at Amy funny because remember, Amy is friends with Natasha. So Mara Lee is looking at Amy like, girl, what the fuck are you doing being friends with the woman that was having an affair with my husband? From Mara Lee's perspective, her and Amy are supposed to be cool. They would go on double dates with each other. Amy's kids would babysit Mara Lee's kids. So Mara Lee is looking around like, girl, what the fuck? Why do you not have my back? 
This is why, Mary Lee, I'm so sorry, girl. But at this point in the story, she doesn't know that yet. So her and TJ are trying to reconcile over the pandemic. You know, it's quarantine, everyone's stuck inside. So TJ was like, I mean, I guess I may as well try to be a good husband. I don't know. But while that's going on, girl, Amy and Natasha, they fall out with each other. So they're not friends anymore. Natasha starts looking at Amy sideways, being like, uh, I think you're getting a little bit too close to TJ. I don't like that. Mind you, Natasha is also married at this time, allegedly. Having a Brandy and Monica, the boy is mine moment over a man that is neither of y'all's is crazy. Shit hits the fan when Marilee finds a birthday card from Amy to TJ that's like way too personal and inappropriate for a coworker. So then she's like, okay, what the fuck is going on here? Now I'm wondering if Marilee finding the card led her to getting a private investigator to collect more evidence to prove her suspicion. This story has really gagged me. I had no idea who the hell these people were like two days ago, and now my mouth is watering with all the juicy details. I want a six episode mini series chronicling these events, preferably on HBO Max. And because I have entirely too much time on my hands, I have come up with some casting options that I will share in a follow-up video because I'm running out of time. Thank you in joining me in the casting process of the fictional HBO Max miniseries about the Good Morning America cheating scandal. The man at the center of it all, TJ. Immediately my mind went to Michael Ely. I feel like this works, they look kind of similar, and also they are in the same age range. Another option I have, Jesse Williams. Like Michael, I feel like he looks a little bit similar to TJ, and also he's the right age. And on top of that, in real life, Jesse also allegedly cheated on his wife, so he can go full method actor into the role. For TJ's wife, Mara Lee, I was thinking Zoe Saldana. We have Natasha, the producer, who's not like twins with TJ's wife, but they do have similar features. So now you have to think of someone that has similar features to Zoe Saldana. And when you Google Zoe Saldana lookalike, Thandie Newton pops up. Apparently, a lot of people think they look really similar to each other, even Zoe's mom. So I personally feel like I really nailed it on this casting. For Amy, there was really only one person that came to my mind. It would have to be Reese Witherspoon. Like, I just don't see a better option than her. She literally already played a news anchor on the morning show. Like, do you see how my vision is just lining up perfectly? I need this miniseries to get greenlit. Lastly, we have Amy's husband. He hasn't really been like a huge part of the affair drama thus far, but we still have to include him. There's a plethora of white men in Hollywood who were in their 40s and 50s, so we have a lot to choose from. But I'm going with James Marsden. I like him and I think he's underrated, so if I can include him in any fictional casting, I will. Those are all my choices for the main play. I'll link the creator um, of this TikTok down in the description. I hope she makes more videos about this. And I agree like 99% with her casting. Actually 100% because I think Reese would do a great job. But the first person who came to my mind for Amy is, uh, what's her face? What's her face? Elizabeth Banks. If I'm missing any more information, that's the latest information that I have seen to add to this alleged sordid affair. Let me tell you what. <laughs> This kind of drama, again, I don't want for people to be hurt and betrayed and all of those things, but when it is out, when they are personalities, when they are well-known people and it is out for us to see, I'm gonna eat it up. I'm sorry. Like, I'm I'm sorry. It's, it's entertaining. Say what you will. I know you're reading it too. Anyways, is there any other mess that I'm missing? Because I'm loving, I'm loving like covering pop things, pop culture, pop moments, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Do I read? Uh, sometimes. Actually, no. The only two things I've been reading are tweets. I've been reading tweets about these two and yikes. But yet it appears that they are separated from their spouses now and I guess gonna be out together. The day after that story came out, they were just like, kick, kick, kick on, on Good Morning America like nothing was wrong. Mm. No shame. I mean, I guess the show has to go on, but damn. You got nothing to say for yourself. And I guess both of them took down their Instagram accounts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder why. Anyway, I'm disgusted per usual. <sighs> so I guess unless we get more news from this, this will be the last of this um, until the next celebrity pop culture person uh, cheating scandal. Because let's be real, it's inevitable. But thank you so much for watching. Give this a video a thumbs up, a subscribe, a subscribe. Stay blessed, hydrated, moisturized, and sunscreened. And I'll see you in my next one.